Traders have become puzzled by mixed data from the Eurozone and the ECB's promises to continue the monetary policy tightening. As a result, the euro dollar pair is trading sideways. In our video review, we will find out what movement the euro dollar pair may show, especially after the gloomy news about the European economy. Like it was two days ago, the final data on the Eurozone services and composite PMI turned out to be below the initial figures. In particular, the services PMI dropped to 52 points from 55.1 points, whereas economists had anticipated a decline to 52.4. The composite PMI slid to 49.9 points from 52.8 points instead of falling to 50.3 points. The data has once again proved that the Eurozone economy is a sliding into a recession. Nevertheless, the euro remained stable instead of falling. Notably, traders were ready for such a scenario. Meanwhile, in the United Kingdom, the final data was in line with the preliminary estimates. In other words, the report failed to affect the market. Thus, business activity in the services sector shrank to 53.7 points from 55.2 points. The composite indicator decreased to 52.8 points from 54 points. At the same time, traders paid close attention to the figures on the Eurozone producer price index. According to the forecast, a decline in the producer prices should have slackened to 1.8% from 3.2%. However, the indicator showed a drop of 1.9%. Nevertheless, we still see a slowdown. On a yellow basis, the PPI was in the red. It means that further slackening in inflation is also possible. However, the European Central Bank is likely to go on raise, rising the key rate. In fact, it has no other way out. Such factors are expected to gradually boost the euro. The growth is likely to be noticeable. What's more, the euro may also push the pound sterling higher. On the trading chart, we see that yesterday the euro continued falling against the US dollar, although the price change was insignificant. It pointed to the ongoing correction from 1.10. Notably, yesterday traders from the US which are considered the main ones, were celebrating Independence Day. That's why the markets in the United States were closed. Under the current conditions, the euro settlement below 1.0880 may point to a rise in the volume of short positions. In this case, the downward correction will continue. The alternative scenario suggests the price stagnation near 1.0900. In the event of this, the market may enter the consolidation phase or wait for new signals of uh, or significant events that may affect the price direction. Meanwhile, yesterday the pound sterling closed with a slight rise against the greenback. However, this movement did not lead to considerable changes. The pair is still hovering near 1.27, which points to a short-lived stagnation. If the price consolidates above 1.2750, the volume of long positions is likely to go on increasing. In this case, the pair will gradually recover after the recent downward correction. The downward scenario will become possible if the price drops below 1.2650. If this happens, sellers are likely to become active and push the price to a new local low. And that's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the US trading session.